he and I really, you know, knew each other in high school. And so we were both parade all Americans. Did you have a fro? Yeah, a mini fro. We were both parade all Americans. And so we got, you know, we were in Washington DC for the parade all American game. And, uh, and I just watched him in practice. I was just like, this dude was ridiculous. And I remember him walking past me. It's weird, man, because my ego was had to be put in check. But I remember vividly, we all got off the bus and he was he was walking in front of me. And the University of Michigan assistant coaches were walking in front of us. And they were recru- recruiting both of us. And they held the door open like for Magic. Oh, come on, Magic, come on in. And then they let the door go on me. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they saw me or not, but mm-hmm. I took that as an insult. Sure. Right? And so, and I don't think I was going to go there. So I just kind of used that as ammunition to say, oh, I'm not going there. You know, but they were very nice. Bill Frieda was assistant coach on that team. I love Bill Frieda to oh, death, yeah. man. Love him to death. But, you know, you just try to look for reasons why you don't like somebody sure. or do something. And so we go in and – so I said, okay, they have to magic, they have to magic. So later on that night, after a practice, Magic saw how good I could shoot. He's like, Eddie, you need to come, man. You need to come join me, man. I'm telling you, man, I will make it easy for you. He just kept recruiting me. But he didn't know where he was going. He like, I don't know, man. I'm either Michigan State or Michigan. I just haven't made my mind up, but don't really make no decisions. Why don't you wait, wait? I got an ego too. I gotta wait for you, you know, so. Oh, Eddie. Hold it. If oh, I knew man. what I knew now, I would have waited for him to the end of the damn moment. <laughs> Get me wrong. One of the biggest damn mistakes oh, I ever man. made in that sense. So we get back. We to, then we go play Albert Schweitzer games. This American coach is coaching uh, our team. So we have this team that we play in the international against a lot of little countries, and we're just blowing them all out by 20, 30 points. But the second game, we had a tough game going on for a minute. And Magic came down and turned it over about three times. And it really wasn't his fault. Guys just weren't looking. Like, he hit a guy in the head one time. Guy wasn't looking, hit a guy in the hand, didn't turn around quick. So the coach calls a timeout, and he brings us over, and he's like, you know, you're the tallest guy on the team, looking at Magic. You know, why don't you give the ball to Darnell Valentine, who's on the team? Darnell Valentine was a hell of a player. Give the ball to him or Tommy Baker, who played in Indiana. Give it to them. They're point guards. Come on, you just give the ball up. Oh, my God. And I'm looking at Magic, and Magic is like, he looked like he about ready to just burst into tears. So he subbed both of us out. We're sitting on the bench, and Magic is like ticked. He just got his head down like this. Man, what's this dude trying to do, man? You know, talking to himself. I said, Magic, what kind of influence this dude got over you? Like, he's not going to bench you. Like, man, bump him, man. Go out there and do what you do. He looked at me, yeah, you right. And I was still on the bench. He subbed Magic back in. It was the best three minutes I have ever seen him play. This is in high school. You know how sometimes people say, man, you wish you would have got that on camera. Mm -hmm. Like one time some game bangers were chasing me and I was sprinting trying to get away from them. Mm -hmm. Grew up in Chicago and it was a gate that was about, I don't know, it had to be about three feet or three and a half feet. I hit that sucker in stride. Like, like a hurdle. A hurdle. <laughs> a hurdle right over it. And I look back and my boys were like, damn. <laughs> I, I went to try that thing again. I almost fell on my face. But the adrenaline was in me, right? And I'm telling you, I wish we had a film on, on Magic. He, I mean, he came down, he spun, he threw it back here, hit the guy. Pete Bucko, I think his name, called it, he dunked. Came down again, got one for the steal, went behind his back, went back behind his back, threw it like a bowling ball to a guy, laid it up. Then he came down, he spun, and then took off. They covered both guys. He went in and dunked it. The other team calls a timeout. And I'm sitting there but as the other players are walking over to the bench. And the, and the co- head coach was here, assistant coach was here, I was here. Head coach looked at the coach and said, what the hell was I thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I told Magic that, man, he died. He, <laughs> I, I like, there you go, bro. I mean, yeah. after that, Magic played point guard. We beat everybody by 40, 50 points. Man, that coach like, get the ball to Magic. Get the ball to Magic. After he said Magic <laughs> run down the court. Yeah. I, he and I talk about that, man. He, he remembers it, too. I mean, it was like, it was a moment where somebody challenged him. Yeah. 
and he just went to a level that I have not even seen him do when he yeah. played in the league at, at, that, with that energy and that effort and determination. So that's what I got to say about him. And that's why I keep kicking back. Kendrick Perkins yesterday, I agree with Steph Curry. No. Uh, you know, Curry is the best point guard. Yeah. I say, Kendrick, you must, be, you must be drinking some good tequila right now, dude. <laughs> and it just, you know, it's just blasphemy. It's the best point guard in the history of our game. And, and, and Bird, arguably, is the best small forward. You can say whatever you want to say. You know, I put LeBron as a small forward, point guard. Uh, he's just a chameleon in what he does. But those two dudes were unbelievable.